social worker and therapist for Milk and Weeks Psychological Service out of Rochester Hills, Michigan. She gave me a lot of insight on how she communicates within the workplace. Who do you converse with on a regular day at work? Um, I have a few opportunities to do some case consultations, uh, maybe once a week. Um, but I would say on an average day, the only people I talk to would be my clients. When talking to her patients, Karen is always aware of her audience. She has to take into consideration how they would feel and which language she should use. I don't, I, I don't talk down to people, it's just I definitely choose language that I know they'll understand. Although Karen and many other clinical psychologists agree that the use of technology takes away from the face-to-face -face interactions within a session, she would much rather work with a notepad and pen. is done in a very small, uh, kind of brief version of a file where we just um, make very brief notes related to uh, progress and they also have their initial intake uh, paperwork in there, which is, uh, you know, it consists of their diagnosis, um, their current symptoms, past symptoms, um, family history biopsychosocial evaluation. On top of filling out all this paperwork, clinical psychologists must have some interpersonal skills. According to an experiment done by the Australian Psychological Society, anyone who wishes to be a clinical psychologist must be efficient in many areas. the appropriate responses to adequately help the progress of their patients. As a whole, it is important as a clinical psychologist to take into consideration who you are talking to and adjust your communication accordingly.